The European Union, EU, says it has invested 10 million euros in action against trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants, a tips and project in Nigeria. EU representative made this disclosure at the pre-launch of the Atipsum project by an international NGO, the International and Ibero-American Foundation for Administration and Public Policy, FIAP, in Nigeria. The representative said that the fund would aid in policies protection, prosecution, and partnership between organizations in the ECOWAS region in the field of trafficking human beings. We have done similar work in the past under previous cooperation projects with uh, other development partners and we really think that uh, launching this platform can build uh, on uh, existing work uh, done in the past. NACTAL is our main beneficiary and now uh, a long-standing partner in the field of trafficking uh, in human beings in the fight against trafficking in human beings remains uh, a reliable partner in, uh, in this uh, uh, activity and we really hope that we can uh, step up efforts when it comes to um, uh, coordination and when it comes to collaboration, especially at the border and especially in the afternoon month and maybe even during the, the, the pandemics. The project team leader, FIAP Nigeria, stressed the need for all law enforcement agencies, especially those working at Nigeria borders, to work together to tackle smuggling in Nigeria. Uh, this is one of these 50 or 55 activities that the program is making here in, in, in Nigeria, working in other Activities, investigation, helping with the shelters, you know, some of the members of, of NACTA are here today. I know many of them. And also, it's, uh, it's very, very great to know how the people are very friendly each other. Because the approach of this program is that, is, uh, as the European Union say, uh, together we are stronger. Project consultant Atipsum said that the project would assist in enhancing collaboration between NGOs in the ECOWAS region to eliminate human trafficking and smuggling of migrants. We, we hope for better synergy amongst NGOs in the region, whereby you know we have uh, uh, citizens in other ECOWAS countries, you can't trace their homes, you don't know who to reach out to. With this platform, you can easily do that. When victims of uh, human trafficking uh, 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 stranded in any other ECOWAS country, it's easier to reach out to that country. The national president, Naktal, Nigeria, while commending the Nigerian government in the fight against TIPSOM, called for more funding, support to sustain and achieve the goal. But we are happy that the European Union is graciously supporting this. But what happens after the uh, expiration of the life cycle of the ATIPSOM project? Sustainability is also another challenge that we envisage. Naktal Nigeria has been able to sustain her operation in the last 15 years, but will work some in other countries of ECOWAS, in other countries of the West African surgeon, be able to do that? The Comptroller General of Nigeria Immigration Services, represented by Assistant Comptroller Ahmed Wali, commended the organizations for their support in the fight against human trafficking and smuggling of migrants. I must say that in line with the mandate of FIAP, we, I think, have been better talking about cooperation because uh, FIAP has been able to demonstrate that, that singular uh, success in bringing us together at various platforms to work together, to learn together and be together and, in fact, uh, discharge the mandate together. The Director General of NAPTIP, represented by the Director, Research and Program Department, stressed the need for interagency collaboration to end the crime of TIPSON. The crime of human trafficking and smuggling of migrants, it's so multisectoral, multidisciplinary, multifaceted and multidimensional. Now no single entity, no single individual can fight it alone. All hands need to be on deck. And I'm very, very happy that NATA has been a in the of this Similarly, the Nigeria Police Force, represented by Alice Abba, reiterated their commitment to the fight against human trafficking and smuggling of migrants into the country. I encourage the coalition to support the effort of virus West African government, effort to fight against trafficking in person and smuggling of migrants. I also 
acknowledge and congratulate FIAP and EU for supporting establishment of this platform.